Mastering indefinite pronouns in present perfect tense. Hello, English language learners. Today we are diving into the world of indefinite pronouns. Specifically, we're going to learn how to use these pronouns in the present perfect tense. This can sometimes be a tricky topic, but don't worry, we're here to make it as easy as pie for you. Before we jump into how to use indefinite pronouns in the present perfect tense, let's review what indefinite pronouns are. These are pronouns that do not refer to any specific person, thing, or amount. They include words like everyone, everything, someone, nothing, anybody, and no one. For example, in the sentence, someone left their umbrella, the word, someone, is an indefinite pronoun. The present perfect tense is used when we talk about something that happened at an unspecified time before now or when the action is still relevant to the present. It's formed with the subject, followed by, have, or, has, and then the past participle of the verb. For instance, I have visited Paris twice. Now that we've reviewed both indefinite pronouns and the present perfect tense, let's combine them. When using indefinite pronouns with the present perfect tense, it's important to remember that singular indefinite pronouns, like everyone, someone, anybody, and no one, are treated as singular subjects and therefore use has, while plural indefinite pronouns, like all, some, none, use, have. For example, someone has left their umbrella. Everybody has arrived at the party. None have refused the offer. Let's practice. Try to make your own sentences using indefinite pronouns in the present perfect tense. Remember, this isn't a race. Take your time and make sure you're comfortable with these sentences before moving on. Practicing is key to mastering any new grammar concept. And that's it, folks. I hope this video has helped demystify using indefinite pronouns in the present perfect tense. Keep practicing, stay curious, and keep having fun with your English language learning journey. As always, remember, the key to success is consistent practice. Happy learning!